Paul Pogba was one of the best midfielders in the world until he got banned from football. Now he's just an 80 overall and without a club, which makes today's goal of winning a second World Cup with France that much more difficult. But while his first challenge is finding a club, he wouldn't be without one for long, as Manchester United have agreed to give him another chance by signing him to a one-year contract. And he'll have the opportunity to earn an extension if he could impress the new manager. But getting back into form will not be easy, and it's going to take time because his match fitness is now where it needs to be in order to play in the Premier League. And if he wants to get called up to the national team and win the World Cup, the only way that could happen is if he has a good season. So with a lot to prove, Pogba spent extra time in the gym to work on his fitness, and although he spent the first couple months on the bench, his efforts in training wouldn't go unnoticed, as he would get rewarded with some game time coming off the bench. And while his minutes were limited, Pogba still appears to be the creative player that we know him to be, as his playmaking ability late in the game would help Manchester United pick up valuable points. And with the trust of the manager growing game after game, Pogba will have the chance to start in the Europa League as United have progressed to the quarterfinals. But while they are the favorites to win, this game would be a lot more difficult than expected, as the United offense would fail to get anything going, and it would come back to haunt them. As with the final action of the game, Olympiacos would sneak one by Onana at the 90th minute. If you're rooting for Pogba United, this is not a good look. And fans seem to agree, as the reaction on social media after the game was far from being positive, and although nobody had a good game, Fans were singling out Pogba and questioning whether he still has it in him to play on the big stage. And if he can't do it in the Europa League, how can he do it against the best nations in the world? So as the team returns to England ready to face Olympiacos in the second leg, all eyes are on Pogba to unlock this United offense. And at the ninth minute, Rashford's cross would find Garnacho, whose world-class volley gives United an early lead. That is a great start, but they have to keep it up because there's still a lot of time on the board. That goal would give the whole squad a boost of confidence, as not long after, we would see Pogba respond to his critics. And it didn't stop there, as for the rest of the game, it would be the Pogba show, as United would score their third goal of the night, with the French midfielder being instrumental in the build-up, and at the 90th minute, Pogba would cap off an incredible performance with his second goal of the night. And now, on to the semi-finals, where we would see Manchester United carry the momentum against Slavia Prague, with Pogba once again coming to the rescue by scoring the game-winning goal. Pogba is literally carrying United to a Europa League final. But while they've made it this far, they're conceding far too many goals against weaker teams. And now that they're facing Roma in the finals, those defensive mistakes will come back to haunt them as Roma were able to control the majority of the game, and the player who exploited that weakness the most is none other than Pogba's ex-teammate Paolo Dybala, who would find the back of the net twice to help Roma win the Europa League. Fair play to Roma. They played better and they deserved it, but man, that's a bummer for Pogba, really. So unfortunately for Pogba, his season ends trophyless and on a sour note as Man United were unable to qualify for European competitions. But it only gets worse, as he wouldn't get a call from the national team to play in the summer friendlies. And now his goal of playing in the World Cup next year is in serious jeopardy. And to make matters even worse, France are no longer the favorites to win the World Cup after a disappointing loss against Italy, who are now back in form, and a loss to Spain, who are only getting better since winning the Euros. And because of these disappointing results, France's star player Kylian Mbappe would lash out to the media, criticizing the manager's tactics and team selection, and demanding a change happen immediately. And after further reflection, France would sack Didier Deschamps and hire Zidane, who promised the fans that they would return to playing attacking football. And with Pogba being the best creative midfielder they have, he promised them a spot if he can win a trophy this year. The only problem is, Manchester United are far from being a title contender and aren't playing in any European competitions this year. However, with the season Pogba had, many clubs are interested in signing him. However, there's only one destination that makes sense, that being Real Madrid, where he'll be reuniting with Kylian Mbappe. And the objective is quite clear, win a trophy and make the national team. However, it's not going to be easy because while Pogba and Mbappe's chemistry on the pitch is growing stronger and Real Madrid having won 10 of their first 14 games, the title race is extremely close. And in game week 15, 
still have the chance to overtake Barcelona as the two were set to face off in the first El Clasico of the season. And while most of the focus will be on Mbappe who's coming into this game with a league leading 11 goals, it's an even more important game for Pogba who already has 6 assists this year to have a good performance and prove that he can still have an impact in big games. And at the 16th minute, he would show exactly that. And while this game would eventually end in a draw and change nothing in the standings, the main takeaway is Pogba's performance, and that would continue throughout the next few months. But before we see how the table plays out, let's shift our focus to the Champions League, where Real Madrid would finish third in the UCL League phase, and after defeating Bayern Munich in the quarterfinals, they're one matchup away from a finals appearance. But they'll have to beat last year's champions first. There is so much on the line right now for Pogba. This matchup is super important. So with the stakes clearly defined, it's even more important for Real Madrid to have a fast start. And within minutes, we would see exactly that. Beautiful through ball from Pogba, an even better finish from Mbappe. Real Madrid take an early lead. But in order to beat Barcelona, they're going to need more than just one goal. Vinny crosses it into Jude. 2-0 Real Madrid. You couldn't have asked for a better start. And with Barcelona clearly stunned after this dominant start from Real Madrid, they would not only concede a third goal, but it would get even worse for them right before the whistle. Real Madrid with one final counterattack before the end of the game. Vinny passes it into Mbappe, and it's a near side goal allowed by Ter Stegen. 4-0 Real Madrid and it might be lights out for Barcelona. And that would end up being the case, as the return leg in Barcelona would just be a formality, and Real Madrid would be advancing to the Champions League Finals. And with the trophy being ever so close inside for Pogba, Arsenal will be looking to play the spoiler. Arsenal are very dangerous off set pieces. Marino hits the post, and it's covered up by Courtois. And while Arsenal came very close to stunning Real Madrid in the early minutes, they now find themselves on the wrong side of a counter-attack. Chouameni into Pogba has options in front of him, into Mbappe. Through ball to Rodrigo, that looked offside, he might be on. Can he take the shot? 1-0 Real Madrid, what a deadly counter-attack. Real Madrid went from almost conceding on one end to taking the lead on the other. But if they keep allowing Arsenal to grow into the game, it will eventually catch up to them. Marino takes the shot, hits the post, Havertz! How did he miss? Courtois gains control, but what a miss from Havertz! But while luck is clearly on Real Madrid's side, it would eventually run out, as Havertz would make up for his mistake and level the game before halftime. I mean, it was just a matter of time. Real Madrid have completely lost control of this game. And as we head into the second half of this game, there's one important question that we'll have to ask ourselves. Can Pogba still be the difference maker when it matters the most? Or will he fall short in a final for a second consecutive year. Dude, carrying the ball into Pogba. Quick pass to Vinny, Saliba's wrong footed, through on goal. Vinny takes the shot, 2-1 Real Madrid. What a start to the half. Pogba with a crucial assist. Vinny gets the ball from Chouameni. Rudiger, Pogba, back to Vinny. 3-1 Real Madrid. Game, set, match. Pogba's two assists to Vinny in the second half are enough to lead Real Madrid to their 16th Champions League title. And with this win, not only has Pogba achieved his goal of winning a trophy, but he's actually won two, as Real Madrid would also win La Liga. And with the season he's had, and as promised by Zidane, Pogba will be taking the field for Les Bleus for the first time since 2022. And we would get to see the Pogba of old, as his playmaking ability would unlock the offense picking up three assists and a goal throughout the group stage to lead France to a first place finish. And while he's had a great start to the World Cup, he would only get better throughout the knockout rounds, all starting in the round of 16, where he would open the scoring against Denmark in a game that would eventually see France move on to the quarterfinals. But beating England was not going to be easy, and while France would score first, England would respond with a goal of their own. However, the World Cup favors the team that are most in form, and while Pogba didn't have a goal involvement against England, France as a whole are playing much better and would eventually find the game-winning goal. A very close win against one of the favorites, and now on to the semi-finals. And with Brazil eliminating Spain on the other side of the bracket, Pogba and Mbappe will be going up against some familiar faces. And if history is anything to go by, we can expect a close game. 
And that's exactly how it would play out as the first goal of the game would only come in the 58th minute. Mbappe is just too quick. They couldn't catch up to him and France lead by one. With time running out and France looking like they'll get away with a slim victory, Vinny Jr. had different plans. France were so close to getting it done. Why did it have to be Vinny? With extra time looking likely and Vinny trying to spoil the party, let's drop into the final minutes of this game. France with maybe one final opportunity. Neymar goes in with a slide tackle, misses the ball. Theo gets the ball back into Mbappe, into Kolomani, back to Mbappe. What is France going to do here? Mbappe with the ball, pass it to Theo, to Rabio, Kolomani. Pogba! Come on! <laughs> I can't believe that just happened from the lowest of lows two years ago to sending france to a third final in a row pogba's goal of winning his second world cup with france is at hand's reach and although germany would open the scoring in this game with a wonder goal from goretzka nothing was going to stop pogba and france from reliving a heartbreak in a world cup final and with the help of his long-standing teammates they would eventually get the job done as with a brace from Kolomwani, France would hold on to the lead until the final whistle, and what seemed impossible two years ago, Pogba will go on to accomplish his goal of winning his second World Cup.